Hey guys, in this video, me and two of my friends are going to be looking at your mocks and giving our opinion on them. If you want your mock to be featured in the next video, send it to me over on Instagram. So this first mock by my buddy Quick Brick. Uh, this is this is a mock from Jedi Fallen Order from the planet of Ilum, for which first showed up in the Clone Wars. This is basically basically the planet where the Jedi used to get their lightsabers from, but then it got transformed into the Star Killer base because well the sequels. So what do we think about this build? Um, it's good. Yeah, yeah, for you. <laughs> yes, it's really it's good. Brilliant. Man. We have um, to yeah. we have to elaborate on that. Well, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so I I'm gonna say I'm gonna say uh, the rock work is nice. I appreciate the different techniques. You can also see how he does the realistic border with like these separate boulder pieces and like the snow and the cracks. I just I just know the builder in, in person and he really likes to use lights and mocks i think in this case it's a little bit overkill unless the entire thing is just one massive kyber crystal i think he could have definitely turned uh well maybe he doesn't have it available but it would have been cool if they were a bit duller they are a bit distracting but it does make the the mock overall um interesting to look at yeah i i, I also appreciate the minifigure positioning and uh, the, the entire custom minifigure of Cal Kestis. The poncho is very accurate and the hand extension is also very nice. M my only complaint is it's so like the photography is so clean however that wire which just yeah. goes from the ceiling down like yeah. th that is super easy to like Photoshop out. I also, just looking at the, the right side, there is a 4x4 four four wedge at the, the top right, and that kind of stands out because there's not really much studs showing. I mean, yeah. I personally feel like the the rock work is a bit too uh, messy on the inner sides. Okay, it is messy, but it, at least it's not repetitive. Come on. True, true. As someone who knows the builder, I'm just gonna say, he isn't really that much of a terrain person, so him just making something like this is honestly absolutely insane. As somebody who doesn't build terrain, not gonna appreciate somebody stepping out of their comfort zone. So the BD1 was the light. Oh yeah, very he nice. up the eye there. Yeah, 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 that's... I think that's... It would have uh, stood out more if it wasn't so bright in the other, like everything else. If it was just that light on BD1, I think it would uh, stand out a lot more. Quick break, guys. So make sure to follow him. The link to his Instagram is in the description below. He call he also has a YouTube channel. Okay, this next mock is not Star Wars. It's from Aliens, guys. What do you think about Aliens? Uh, Have you guys seen any of the Aliens movies? I've never seen. But like, big no, I've never seen Aliens. I don't think I've seen the first one. I think I've only seen the Predator film. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, it is from the same universe. Anyway, guys, we have Jack the Collector with an alien smock. Uh, so, what do what do we think about this? Um, where are the aliens? That is my first thought. I don't see well, an alien. <laughs> Maybe he's in the black. The <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just say, let's just say. The budget, the budget of a mock did not include the CGI for the alien. I like the grill pieces, oh, yeah. the use of snot for, for the plates, that's very nice. Also the dark red uh, adds some nice contrast and I would love to see, just because it's aliens, I would love to see like some blood on the walls, like in bright red. I feel like it would have been very, very cool. But the crates are nice, and also you really have to appreciate the custom figures. I'm pretty sure the builder himself designed these, so they oh, really? are pretty cool. Um, yeah. Also, as on the second picture, which right now is on the screen, uh, the build also includes lights from the top, which give off some nice lighting to the mock. But but overall, I mean, it's a clean photography. It's a clean mock. I mean, that's that's all I gotta say. What do you think, guys? Uh, you said it all. Um... I think, yeah, you pretty much summed it up well. I think it's uh, good that you at least tried to add some color because you could have easily just had a, a quite very grey and bland mock. I think the yellow and uh, red really brings a bit of pop. Next, we have a very fresh mock built by Robonut. And this is Seed of Naboo from Battlefront 2. So what do we think about this? I appreciate the Naboo architecture. I I, I I really have to compliment the 
the wall with the vegetation, with the flowers and leaves growing in there. You can see that he left an opening in the actual wall and put carrots, green stems inside. So the oh, like, yeah. if if you if you zoom in there, it's they they are all there just loose, and then somehow he also managed to fit in the flowers in between. Yeah, he, he really did a good job with the vegetation there. I like the um, technique uh, on the door with the cheese slopes. Uh, right. I was gonna point yeah. out yeah. Uh, the minifig position is nice. The only thing is that uh, that I also want to point out is the border. Uh, y usually, you would expect. I mean, like even I, for all of my builds, I'm just kind of lazy, and I just do a black border. Here, he did something really nice with this 3D kind of mock border, which looks like a frame of a painting in a museum. But but yeah, overall nice texturing, the vegetation is fantastic, the door is also amazing, 10 out of 10 Robonaut, big shout out. Next up we have Lego Richard, who made a very, very, very interesting mock, which actually looks like something from Naboo as well, from Bastide Palace. Yeah, the, the murals on the, on the um, back. Uh, give it a nice pop overall. It's it's the net technique, I think. It's the net technique with transclear things and the light. I mean, those are supposed to be like windows. I, I just have to say, the minifigure positioning is amazing, and all of the uh, custom minifigures, as v in terms of thick barfin, is like amazing. The only thing I would really uh, point out is something negative is the, the top of the, the roof in quotation marks. It's all quite sturdy. I feel like it would be nice to just tile off to give it a polished look. Yeah, he probably he probably used all his tiles on the floor. Yeah, the I can see. Yeah. The floor is nice. The tree, the tree is dope. Basically, the, that's a technique by Full Plate Builds. I, I also recommend uh, checking him out. He has like a website with a bunch of uh, tutorials for like vegetation and one. And if you're a if if, if you're a landscape builder, just it's it's awesome to uh, to go there and check it out. This mock here by Tom Studs. Really nice mock, really compact, I would say. It has some very nice parts usage and some very, very interesting concept, like the bamboo growing to minifigures. My, my only advice when making such a small mock, uh, you really want your figures to be the best figures you possibly have, like the most detailed ones. The Scout Trooper is fine. I mean, the Scout Trooper is detailed, but using that older ATSD driver, I feel like if he would have used like a new one or a different minifigure with like arm printing or something, it it, it really would have like added. Yeah, I agree on the ATSD palette, but at least use uh, another Scout Trooper variant that makes it a bit more interesting. Yeah, anyway, um, the stickers or the printed tiles, I really can't tell, but like some some nice detail. This is really, this mock just really shows how you can make a small mock interesting with like a little bit of a vegetation, a little bit of a rock work. You also have some angled pillars, which look very nice, some minifigures, and uh, the photography is also very clean, the lighting is dope. The camera angle also makes it look kind of taller. I, I feel like that was the intention of a builder, to, to, to make the monk look taller. I quite like the wire that wraps around the, the pillar. A nice ad addition. Another cool technique is the, the one on the left with the transparent thing. Oh yeah, uh, using y using like the levers if you, if you detach the piece and then you can just place the glass panel into the... Oh, overall a sick build. 